Till Till Date Do Us Part. I'm your host, Stephen Fulcrum. Let's get to know our lucky bachelors. Bachelor number one is Ryan Duff. Ryan enjoys sitting on the couch and watching water evaporate. Uh, I like two double quarter pounders of cheese and no pickles on them, either. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Contestant number two is Giles Codtorch. He's from England. I'm from England. <laughs> Bachelor number three is a mummy. <laughs> and bachelor number four is Frank Lafferty, a stockbroker on Wall Street. Hey, thanks for having me on the show. No problem, Frank. Now let's get to know our lucky bachelorette, Miss Foxy Supreme. Tell us, uh, the whole audience, a little bit about yourself. All right, baby, number one, I'm available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number two, I need a man with money, money, money. Money, bling, bling, ching, ching, baby. <laughs> number three, I need a man with a little meat on his bones. All right? Are we okay. Ready? All right, take a seat. And, uh... <laughs> Our bachelors are ready, so uh, you can start firing away those questions. All right, bachelor number one, if I was a document, how would you file me, baby? Uh, I didn't order any files. I ordered, like, two double quarter pounds of cheese, no pickles, like an hour ago. I haven't seen any food. Really, honey? I like quarter pounds with cheese? You speak in my language? <laughs> All right, bachelor number two, what would a typical date of ours be like? Oh, I drive on the left-hand side of the road. I'm picking up! Woo! Honey, I'm not picking it up fast enough. I'm picking it up what you're putting down. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Love don't last very long, so how would you make me feel special and loved? <laughs> Bachelor number three, I'm not going to wait all day, honey. <sighs> Intruders! Someone has stolen the scarab of Ra. I will wash over the earth, bringing pestilence, famine, disease. <laughs> he's a mummy, and he's looking for his scarab of Ra. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you need to sit down. <laughs> Fulcrum, baby, does not look like you've got things under control. <laughs> Relax, Foxy. I've been in the television business longer than you've been wearing diapers. Honey, I don't wear diapers. I wear the real thing. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Keep, keep going with It all those depends, questions. honey. It all depends. All right. <laughs> Bachelor number four, what, would you, what is your dream house? Well, my, my dream house would probably be a, a, a small country murder, you know, cottage in, in a sweeping field, and there'd be, you know, a white picket fence Satan around the front yard and there'd be a, a cobblestone walkway kill across the front yard and there'd be a, a red red house with a with a brass handle and, and inside there'd be, you know, floral floral furniture and it, it would just be beautiful, horrible. Honey, I don't know. Especially that cobblestone walkway is not gonna work my stilettos, honey. Not gonna work. Uh-uh. Woo! Honey, you hot. All right. Bachelor number one, if you were a pickle, what would you be? I said no pickles on either of the double quarter pounds of cheese. Where's your manager? Honey, don't be asking me no questions. Ask the questions to the host. I'm going to Denny's. Don't be a player hater. Be a conversator, baby. Shut up. Shut No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't, honey. Oh, no, you didn't. You better keep walking. Keep going, honey. Whoa. Okay. Uh... I'm not even sure what happened, but that's one less contestant to worry about, so, uh... Fine with Fox, me, honey. Yep, yep, you know, let's, let's, let's keep going. All right, we'll keep going, baby. Bachelor number two, if you were to sit on a stranded island, honey, what were the three things you'd have with you? In England, we call French fries chips. <laughs> a little too crunchy for me, honey. All right, bachelor number three, if we had a song, what would it be? <laughs> Fire! Honey, when I light your fire, it's gonna burn, baby, burn! <laughs> All right, that's 
Option number four. Woo! Love don't last. Oh, no, honey, I already asked that for number three. He didn't answer so well. All right. Bachelor number four. A few things in life are for free, baby. What are those things? Well, well, the things in life that are free, there's, there's hugs, there's sun-drop kisses from a lollipop rainbow, and, and, and how can you forget love? Welcome, baby. I think number four is speaking my language, honey. I got to agree. So you're going to pick him? I think I'm going to pick him, baby. Come on, number four. OK. Well, as Frank and Foxy <gasps> walk off into the sunset, me. I'm oh. reminding you that I'm Stephen Fulcrum. Oh. This is till date to us, Lord. And, 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 and Pat and Sean and Jen are the next act with just friends.